Welcome to the John A. Paulson Harvard School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. My name is Julie Holbrook, and I oversee graduate admissions at the school. Today I'm here to tell you a little bit about our PhD programs and how to apply. We offer the PhD degree in four areas in CS: Applied Mathematics, Applied Physics, Computer Science, and Engineering Sciences. Within Engineering Sciences, we have four subfields, including Bioengineering, Electrical Engineering, environmental science and engineering, and material science and mechanical engineering. For those students interested in material science, you should investigate both our applied physics and our engineering sciences degree and decide for yourself which is most interesting or relevant given your interests. The average number of years to degree for the PhD is between five and six. That varies somewhat by area. So students who are conducting long-term experiments in applied physics, for example, might be here slightly longer than other students. In general, think about being at CIS for about five and a half years. All PhD students in CIS, regardless of which area you're in, have the same requirements. All students are required to complete 10 courses, complete a qualifying exam, generally at the end of the second year of graduate study, and finally defend their thesis at the conclusion of their research. All PhD students are also required to serve as a teaching fellow in the second year of their PhD program. Teaching fellow is Harvard's phrase for a TA or teaching assistant. Students have a lot of flexibility to think about which course in which they serve as a teaching fellow. Many students TF in a course that their advisor teaches. Other students prefer to serve as a TF in a course that they took as a first or second year graduate student and really enjoyed. All PhD students are fully funded as long as they remain in good academic standing and are making progress toward the degree. Financial support takes several forms, including the CS Fellowship, external fellowships such as the NSF, teaching fellowships, which we just talked about, and research assistantships when a student is conducting research in a faculty member's lab. CS is growing and expanding. It's an exciting time to be at the school. We are currently located on Harvard's historic Cambridge campus in Cambridge, Massachusetts. If you look at this picture, Harvard Yard is in the front of the graphic, and the current CIS buildings are behind it. In fall of 2020, about half of the school will be moving across the Charles River into Alston. You'll see the Cambridge campus at the top of the graphic, and CIS in Alston in the lower part of this graphic. The Charles River winds between the two, and Harvard Yard is right in the middle. Our new building is called the Science and Engineering Complex, and it will be one of the most state-of-the-art facilities for science and engineering teaching anywhere. It includes dedicated active learning labs, maker space, student club space, and flexible classrooms. The SEC will be located across the street from the university's iLab, which is a hub for student entrepreneurship. Faculty labs and offices will be located in the SEC, as well as the school's main administration. About half of the faculty and graduate students will be moving to Alston, and the others will remain on our Cambridge campus. Generally speaking, applied mathematics, applied physics, and environmental science and engineering will remain in Cambridge. Students and faculty in computer science and electrical engineering will be moving to Alston. And faculty and students in bioengineering and material science and mechanical engineering will be split between the two campuses. After the move, CS will occupy buildings on both sides of the Charles River. The university will provide shuttle service between two campuses, and it's also a great walk at most times of the year. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts of the application process. The application is now available through the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences website. If you go to their website, you'll link to the Apply Online page, create an account, and start your work. You can save the work on your application and return to it as needed. The most important thing I can remind you is that the application deadline is December 15th, 2019. The application shuts down that evening, and we do not accept late applications. The application includes the application form and application fee, which you'll pay when you submit your application. Your statement of purpose, the C supplemental form, three letters of recommendation, and TOEFL and IELTS scores are also required. Copies of your undergraduate and graduate transcripts, GRE scores, and your resume or CV round out the application. To send your TOEFL and GRE scores to us, you'll use ETS school code 3451. There isn't a department code you need to use. 
You don't need to mail us hard copies of anything. You'll upload your transcripts with your application, and your letter writers will submit their letters online. Now it's time to provide a little bit of advice about how to complete the best application. Show us that your research interests match those of our faculty. You can do that by being really specific in your statement of purpose. Keep your statement to about two pages. Talk about your research interests and goals, and identify these faculty members' labs that you might be interested in working in. You'll also be asked to identify three members of the CS faculty in whose work you are interested. Make sure that these are members of the CS faculty and not faculty from other Harvard departments. On the CS supplemental application, which is embedded into the main application, you'll be asked to rank order three areas of research interest. Your rankings will help us ensure that your application is reviewed by the most appropriate members of the faculty. We require three letters of recommendation. The best letters should be able to speak in great detail about your preparation for research, your creativity, and your skill set. At least two of the three letters should be from academics, but oftentimes all three are coming from academics. Additional letters beyond the three that are required are generally not that helpful. We advise asking your letter writers at least two months before the application deadline. In fact, you should ask them as soon as you can. Keep in mind that many, many students are asking for letters of recommendation at this time of year. The general GRE exam is optional for applicants to our PhD program. Note that it is required for applicants to our terminal master's programs. The GRE, the subject GRE, is optional for all applicants. You're welcome to submit GRE scores if you have them, but you're not at a disadvantage if you choose not to. The TOEFL and IELTS are required for any student who does not have an undergraduate degree from a school where English is the language of instruction. Note that a master's degree from a school where English is the language of instruction does not meet this requirement. Your TOEFL or IELTS scores must be valid at the time of entry into our program. We do not have a required minimum GPA or GRE score. The required minimum TOEFL score is 80, and the required minimum score on the IELTS is 6.5. Be sure to submit your application on or before December 15th of this year. We'll review applications starting at the application deadline through the beginning to middle of February. We'll finalize our decisions in mid-February, and at that time, the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences will send out official admissions decisions. For students admitted into our program, you have until April 15th to accept our offer of admission. This is a standard date across most U.S. graduate programs. We hope this was helpful. For more information about our degree requirements, our faculty, and their research interests, please visit our website. Also, we welcome an email from you. Email us at admissions at cease.harvard.edu, and we'll respond to your questions as quickly as we can.